Welcome to the seventh video in this series on how to use the bit.ly link shortener. This will be the final video in this series and it deals with connecting bit.ly to social media. Alright, back in your bit.ly.com personal page, let's go ahead to the drop down on the right side of the window. There will be a little arrow next to your name. Click on settings. And I'll touch on settings while I'm here. This is a area for you to add some information about yourself to share on bit.ly kind of like on social media you can change your password you can decide whether you want your bitmarks to be saved as public or private most of the time you can also choose to connect to Facebook or Twitter which is what we're going to do in just a second and finally the advanced options you can choose whether you want to do bit.ly bitly.com or j.mp for your bitmarks. Unless you're an advanced user and you have a good reason, I would recommend just staying with Bitly. It's a recognized one and most people won't have any problem with using that. Let's go back to Connected Accounts tab and let's connect first to Facebook. Go ahead and enter your email and password. And it will take you to a page that looks like this. This is the Bitly page. As you can see, quite a few people use this app. And you can click Go to App. Choose whether you want it to post on your behalf. And now, at Bradley Fish is the public profile for this Bitly account. So when I save a bitmark, it can be directly posted to my Facebook so that other people can check out what I'm interested in and find out from my status what the link is to my latest bitmark. Let's do the same thing for Twitter. Okay, it takes us to the Twitter page and if you are not already logged into Twitter then you need to be. My name's up here, Bradley Fish JR on the right hand side. So I'm going to click authorize the app and here it is. Both of these Facebook and Twitter accounts are publicly associated with my bit.ly profile unless I check these boxes here and finally I have one more option I could automatically import any links that I tweet outside of bit.ly as bitmarks which might be a good option so I'm gonna go ahead and do that it will mean that I have to come back and check on those bitmarks to make sure that they are reasonably organized and sorted okay that's really it for connecting your social media pages to your bit.ly account it just gives you ease of access to your bit.ly account it also allows people to find your bitmarks easier and makes it easier for you to share them the final step in this video will be to go to the your network area so scroll up next to your stuff you'll see your network this again has to do with social media when you connect to facebook or twitter then whenever your friends use bit.ly and i'm sure you'll be recommending it to them whenever they use bit.ly to save a bitmark it will show up here and that way you can have the same access to those customized bitmarks as they do and it saves a little bit of time for everybody and helps you to all stay on the same page that's it for this video series on bit.ly if you have any questions about bit.ly features or if you have another video that you'd like a feature written on please leave a comment below this video also I have a number of other video series out there such as Evernote, Splashtop, Screencast-O-Matic and plenty more just go to my YouTube channel that's at bit.ly slash BA at 17 vids go to that page and check out my other videos I'd appreciate your feedback